Can you answer these questions about cell communication? Get ready with a pause button because I'm going to go through these quickly. Number one, what is the molecule called that binds to a receptor and triggers a cellular response? This is known as a ligand. Number two, what is the process by which cells detect and respond to signals in their environment? This process is known as signal transduction. Number three, what type of receptors do steroids and hormones usually bind to? These are known as intracellular receptors since they're found within the cell and not a part of the cell membrane. Number four, what type of enzyme adds a phosphate group to another molecule? Typically, they're adding these phosphate groups to proteins. These enzymes are known as kinases. Now the reverse question, what type of enzyme removes a phosphate group from a protein? These are known as phosphatases. Number six, what are the four types of cell communication to organize by? So again, there's four different types. How are they organized? The four different types are organized by the distance the signaling molecule travels. Number seven, the overall purpose of cell communication is to help the organism maintain blank despite external conditions. This is a vocab word I usually go over during the beginning of the year. Cell communication helps maintain homeostasis. Number nine, what are the proteins within the cell that relay the message called? A hint here would be they're between the receptor and the response. These are known as secondary messengers. And the last one, what are the membrane proteins called that bind with the ligands? We've already mentioned these before. These are known as receptor proteins.